Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at a digital potentiometer, which we can control with a microcontroller over the I2C bus. In my case, I'm using the SCAT3 board, which has a PIC microcontroller. Now, on my breadboard, I have a breakout board with a DS3502 digital potentiometer. Now, this breakout board is available from DigiKey or Adafruit. Now, I've used other digital pots before, but they were limited to 5 volts only across a resistor high and resistor low terminal. But this one's a high voltage version, which caught my eye. So I could apply up to 15 volts across the resistor high and resistor low terminal. So it's powered by 3.3 volts, but I could apply 15 volts across the digital pot. Now you're probably familiar with this type of pot. It's a mechanical pot, and it has a shaft which I can turn. Now when I turn the shaft, I'm turning the wiper. So I can move the wiper all the way down to the resistor low terminal. And I could turn the shaft and move the wiper all the way up to the resistor high terminal. But on a digital pot, we do that digitally over the I2C bus. Okay, if we take two 5K ohm resistors and put them in series, we're going to form a voltage divider, like we can see here. And if we apply 10 volts across the voltage divider, so we'll resistor high to resistor low, we're going to get 5 volts at the output, that's half the supply voltage, because the two resistors are the same value. Now if we take a 10K pot and we move the wiper to the center of the pot, we're going to have 5K above the wiper and 5K below the wiper. So it would be similar to our voltage divider. We're going to get 5 volts out. Now we can move the wiper. As we move the wiper up towards 10 volts, we're going to, the output is going to increase until we get to the top. That's resistor, that's resistor high. We're going to have 10, 10 volts output. And as we move the wiper down, the output voltage is going to decrease until we hit ground, which is our resistor low. We're going to get 0 volts. So we could, we could uh, vary this pot now between 0 and 10 volts. Now on a digital pot, we have 127 resistors, all in series, and they're going to add up to 10K, and our wiper can go to each resistor node. So all we have to do is send a number over the I2C bus, a number between 0 and 127. So if we send the value 0, the wiper will go down to this node here, we will be at ground, so we'll have 0 output. If we send the value 1, it's going to jump up to this node. If we send a value 126, it's going to jump up to this node, and 127 is going to jump up to this node, and we're going to have 10 volts output. If we send a value 64, the wiper will be in the middle, and the output will be 5 volts, just like we had in our voltage divider and our pot up here. Okay, I have my digital pot powered up, my DS3502, and it's connected to my SCAMP board, and I'm running some code. I have a meter, it's connected to the wiper output of the digital pot. Right now it's at zero, so the wiper is at the very bottom, resistor low. And I have some code running where I'm mapping it to my keyboard. So when I hit the end key, it puts the wiper at the very bottom. When I hit the home key, it'll put the wiper at the very top, resistor high. So I press that, go up to 10 volts, take it down again, down to zero. The four key takes it halfway, puts the wiper halfway, so we're going to get five volts. So there's our five volts, so we'll take it back down to end. Now my up key on the 8 and my down key on the 2, every time I press the 8 key, it's going to move the wiper one increment up, one node up on the resistor bank. And when I hit the 2 key, it will take the wiper down one node on the resistor bank. So when I hit the 8 key, that's one resistor up, two resistor up, three, four, five, six. Now if I hold it, the auto repeat will take it, there's three volts, four, five, she'll take it all the way up to ten volts, so that's at the top now. And I hold the 2, take it down, it will take the voltage all the way down to 0. So I have total control of my digital pot by just sending it a code from 0 to 127 over the I2C bus. That way it will move the wiper from resistor low all the way up to resistor high. So we get a 0 volts on resistor low and we get 10 volts on resistor high. Okay, next we're going to have a look at an application. So I have a variable frequency drive connected up to a three-phase motor and have my digital pot connected up to the AVI input which you can see here. So AVI is 0 to 10 volts input to control the motor speed from 0 to maximum speed. So right now it's at 0, it's at stop. So I'll use my keyboard and I'll, you can see the frequency coming up. That's 9 hertz and my motor is spinning. 10, so I can take it all the way up to maximum which is 60. That's maximum speed. So with my keyboard and my 0 to 10 volts output, I could take it down all the way down to 0. 
Now we can monitor the voltage. We go to a different mode. So here's the voltage it's actually seeing coming out of my digital pot. So that's 0.5 volts. That's 2.1 volt. 5 volts. So that'd be half speed. Take it all the way up to the top. It's 10 volts, maximum speed. And I can take it down. So that's an application that we could use. We could control the variable frequency drive to control the three phase motor. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer and it's talking to my scamp board, which is connected to the DS3502 digital pot. So there's only two fourth words that we need that we can control the movement of the wiper on the pot. So we could write to the pot. So we write the value from 0 to 127. That will be the position on the resistor stack. So if I do 64, that's the middle of the, of the wiper. So if I type 64 and write to the pot. So right now the wiper is in the middle. If I go 0 and write to the pot. Now it's at the bottom. The resistor low. If I go 127, right to the pot. Now it's at the very top. Now if we want to read, we do a fetch or a read. So we read the pot. And you see it's 127, so we know that's where it is. So the next word that we could use for setting the levels, it's called set level. It's using my keyboard. So set for zero. Now if I do my up key, Every time I hit my up key, I'm sending that value to the potentiometer through the I squared C bus. So if I hold it down, I could take it all the way up to 127. And she maxes out at 127. I could take it down one resistor at a time. I'm taking down one resistor at a time on the wiper. If I hold it, I could tell, take it all the way down to zero, the very bottom. If I hit home, it takes it to the top. If I hit end, it takes it to the bottom. If I hit the 4, it takes it to the middle. So I have total control of the up, my up keys to move the wiper up and my down keys to move the wiper down. So that's all I need to write some uh, programs to control the digital pot. Okay, here's the code running on the scan 3 board. And it's written in Flashforth, so it's interactive. Now the first two fourth words is all we need to control the movement of the wiper on the digital pot. So we have pot write and we have pot read. And if you look in the data sheet, there's actually an example there how to write this code. So we're going to use these two words as building blocks to build other words. And we'll see these other words right here. So wiper top puts the wiper to the top because we're sending 127. Wiper bottom puts the wiper to the bottom because we're sending a zero. Wiper middle, we're sending 64. Step up, that'll move the wiper one node up on the resistor bank. And step down, it'll move the wiper one node down on the resistor bank. And we have two modes mode 0 and mode 1. Now mode 0, when we power down the digital pot and then when we power it back up, the position of the of the wiper will be in its place where it was before it was powered down so it's saved in the EEPROM and mode 1 it will not do that and if you want to know what mode you're in you just type mode question mark and it'll return back either 0 or 1 for the mode. Set level, that's where we're setting the levels with my keyboard. So when I'm using my up key I'm stepping up, using my down key, I'm stepping down, I'm stepping down one node on the resistor bank. Wiper top, that's when I hit my home button. Wiper middle, that's the number four button. And wiper bottom, that's my end button. And that runs in a, a continuous loop until I hit uh, escape. That's ASCII 27 will come out of this loop. Now the last word is VN. So we could have an output of the percentage of the VN. So if our VN is 10 volts. And we say 50 and then percent VN. We want 50% of the VN. It will set the pot wiper so we'll have 5 volts on the output. So that's how we can control the, uh, the voltage just by giving it a percentage of the VN of, of, of what we want. So that's all the code there. It's pretty simple to control the wiper on the DS3502 digital pot. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. And you can see the two main components, the SCAMP3 board and the DS3502 digital pot. Now the SCAM3 board is feeding 3.3 volts to power the DS3502. You can see the 3.3 volts and the common ground is fed over. The I squared C bus, SCL and SDA, that's fed over to the DS3502. And here's our digital pot. So we have our resistor high, resistor low, and a resistor wiper. 
and the V plus is fed up to the resistor high. So if you have 10 volts across uh, the, the pot from resistor high to resistor low, 10 volts will be fed into V plus. That's our bias, our bias voltage. Now there's one thing we have to be concerned about, and it's not very obvious in the data sheet, is the wiper, the wiper resistance. There's actually a wiper resistance. So here's a digital pot that's 10K. There's actually a 5K resistance in the wiper. So if we're feeding a device that has a low impedance, we could load down the wiper and our voltage will, uh, will drop. So if we have uh, 10 volts between our resistor high and resistor low, and we feed it into a, a low impedance uh, device, we're going to get a drop of, across the 5K ohm resistor, and our voltage will not be the, uh, the 10 volts that we have on our resistor high. So be aware of that. Now on my variable frequency drive, when I was feeding it, it had a high impedance. So if you don't have a high impedance input to one of your uh, devices, you could buffer it with an op amp. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on how to control the DS3502 digital potentiometer. So you could come up with your own projects. Maybe you want to control the speed of a three-phase motor to control a conveyor belt. So all you need is a digital pot and your favorite microcontroller. I'm using a SCAM3, but you could use any microcontroller that has an I2C bus.